Valentine is coming. Where is your girlfriend? Where is your boyfriend? Lonely. You are so lonely. <laughs> Lithuanian men. <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kindness and your ball and i live and film in venice lithuania today you already know what we are talking about we are talking about why your girl a beautiful hard-working prayerful smart intelligent woman is still doing single in 2021 <laughs> Guys, I mean, it's not even that serious. This Sunday is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to my people, to my rich gang fam. You know, it's about celebrating love and I love you all with my heart. So happy Valentine's Day. People that are single, it's been said that Valentine's Day is to remind us that we are single, but we are not going to take a bow. We're not going to be sad. I mean, I am not sad for one that I'm single because there are reasons that has kept me single. And that's what we're talking about in this video. Valentine's Day is coming where is your boyfriend is an introduction to this video <laughs> the song have you heard that song by what is it kumbasa choir it goes like this valentine is coming where is your girlfriend where is your boyfriend lonely you are so lonely <laughs> Guys, ah, uh, because we are single doesn't mean that you are lonely actually. Let's like, dilly dallying into the intro of this video. Let's get right into this so video. So guys, the number one reason why I feel that I have been single all these years is desire to be in a relationship. I didn't have any desire to be in a relationship. And even when I moved to Lithuania, I became a coordinator for a church. Like, so I started organizing like a fellowship for young people to come together and worship the Lord and grow so that time i i was like nah i'm not interested in dating anybody i even prayed i was like god i don't want to be distracted i'm not saying that every relationship is a distraction no but at that time i was just not interested in seeing anyone so i prayed about it as well and i was just i just wanted to focus on my work with god i just was, wanted to focus on growing my relationship with god that was just what was on my heart at the time so my friends had actually told me at one point that my mind had changed to start seeing someone and I was like, okay, you know, the desire kind of to like, you know, creeping into my heart. And I started thinking about dating someone. I started thinking about being in a relationship. Anyway, now thinking about it and a year had gone by without this desire. Now I have this desire, but I still find that I am still single. So here are other reasons why I think I have remained single as well. The location that I am in. Guys, I live in Lithuania and I have told you before in my video that although we have international people here, most of the international people I have seen in Lithuania had come with their boyfriend or their husband, you know, partners and they have relocated them back to Lithuania. So there are not many international people here who are per se single okay and i'm not looking to date like from nigeria or from lithuania i'm more interested in the person anyway 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 let's not let's not let's not run away from what we're talking about the location so of course i'm living in lithuania so there are more lithuanian men than than any other nationality so lithuanian men <laughs> that have my age <laughs> they are afraid to approach me like they are most they are more scared to approach you to talk about a relationship than any other thing i'm not sure why or even to talk about any other thing in general and i have spoken to my lithuanian girlfriends and i said yo why is it that lithuanian guys they are not you know they don't want to talk to you they are afraid and it's not that they don't like you but they are too scared to approach you so they don't know what to say to you i'm not sure what is going on but if you're a lithuanian a lithuanian guy or a lithuanian woman watching this video please write below to let us know is there a problem like why is the reason why lithuanian men are too afraid to approach like people of you know african descent like is there a thing? Let me know in, in the comment section below, Another guys. Thing that I I see that is now influencing my relationship status is that most people are not ready to take responsibility. I don't know if they think coming to a relationship is like let's go with the flow. Uh -uh. And I'm like, no, you know, I've been all these years working on myself, investing on myself. I'm not looking to see where it's going to. I need you to come here with a plan, a strategy, like what, I, where, where you think you what. What's your plan? And you know, I'm not even talking of just marriage plans, but what's their plan for the future? What's their goal? Who who are they? Who do they see themselves as? You know, what is like 
just in general what are your plans as a young man and i see that most young people they have not actually figured that out and i know that somebody of my age is still working on himself like i am still working on myself but at least i have an idea it doesn't mean that this is exactly what is going to be but a vision like you still have to have a vision of who you are looking to be like the kind of family you want to have the kind of wife you're looking to get and you know one question that i always ask people that ask me out is why should i be in a relationship with you why should i choose you i think this question actually helps me to understand what they are looking for and for me to align myself and, and see if i am the person that they're looking for so if somebody's telling me they want a wife that will cook for them uh, a wife that would uh, take care of the kids and not work I know that it's not already me because I want to work and I'm not saying that I cannot, I will not cook for the person. I mean, I love cooking, so I actually look forward to cook, make me, making like delicious and awesome meals for my husband. But if somebody is telling me that they are looking for a housewife, I already know that they are not looking for me and I will, you know, respectfully decline the offer that I, I like you and I appreciate your, you know, your honesty, but I just think that I'm not the woman that you're looking for and I will encourage you to continue pursuing other women to find what you're looking for because it is not me. Guys, I, already, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. I'm I'm very happy like with my relationship status. I'm not like sad. The way that is going, the way that I'm speaking and growing myself and just challenging myself to be a better woman. That one day I'm going to meet the person that has been challenging himself to be a better man and it's going to be a better relationship and a better future for both of us okay just saying that aside you know every other thing that we're talking that about that i'm today. finding in most people when and i'm not just saying men but i think both women male and female because i also do have single friends sometimes we don't want to commit both the man or the woman they don't want to commit they're like you know again something that i already addressed let's see where it's going and it's like see let's see where it's going it is is what actually like it sounds like you don't have a plan like you're not mature enough to be in this relationship because you should know just like somebody starting a company and you're saying let's see where it's going like you should have a structure you should have a vision for your company like what you want you to achieve and all that so you know committing is something that you cannot be committing to one uh, like saying you want to speak to one woman and then you're speaking to 10 other women like it doesn't work like that you know it means that you're not ready to commit and if you're ready to commit you should focus on pursuing one woman so women sometimes women don't also want to commit you know <laughs> they don't want to commit because they have options of you know a man here and they're asking them out and valentine is coming why should i have to commit you know i can date many men and get many valentine's gifts but guys watch yourself watch yourself guys first of all when i say dating i'm not talking about should i even mention this because i think this is a no-brainer but i'm not talking about sleeping with men that's not what i'm talking about at all like i am not for that like i said i believe in the standard of relationship that god has set you know that's the standard that i'm giving so another thing, so guys that i feel that is also and i I've, I've seen this one especially in christian men oh my god now i'm going here guys i'm a christian woman so you know the majority of men that ask me out are christian men they are the christian men my brothers my brothers my speaking in tongues brothers you know my holy brothers and i appreciate you all but one of the things that i'm finding is that most of this my brothers and you know this video probably will help you somehow <laughs> most of my guys are they just know how to just preach the gospel to me. So they want to tell me about, you know, the word, you know, they only have the word to show me. And I'm like, I appreciate that. Like I need the word. I need somebody that will cover me with the word of God. But outside the word of God, I also need like compassion, goals, structure, you know, the things that will make a relationship work. Like, there should be some kind of sending flowers, you know, reading poems, you know, poetry, finding out your love language, like my love language and also your love language. There should be all those things in perspective and not just like every day we meet, we are talking about the word. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's nice. The Bible also say that a man who cannot feed his family is worse than an infidel. So what's your plan on how you can feed your family? So <laughs> it's like, where are we going? You know, and this is one thing that I'm finding. And so Christian men, you know, I love you all and I want to marry one of you. I want to marry one of you, but guys, you need to step up the game. And I'm not saying it's all Christian men. I'm just saying the few ones that are, some of them, 
most of them that I've met. And of course, because all Christian men come to you, doesn't mean you're going to marry everyone. You have to pick one. So guys, my Christian brother, step up your game. Step up, step up. Read, research, you know, educate yourself on relationships. There are relationships that are godly and beautiful and, you know, wonderful and just glorious. Research. We, are, we cannot all be praying every day. We, I mean, we have to pray every day, but we can be praying all the time that we spend together, we should be able to have conversations on different topics like business, like relationships, like marriage, like kids. You know, we should be able to talk about different things like investment. Okay, you know, 2021, some of us, we need to leave the single world to get to the relationship stage and then get to the marriage I stage. I share with you guys some of the things that I feel like can help both me and you come out of the single life, you know, and then go into pursuing or going to being pursued. Being open. And when I say being open, I mean, I mean don't spend. No, I don't mean like being open and allowing everybody like so into your conversation with anybody. But what I mean is this: even now, most people think that I've married because people now approach me and they're like, "Wait, you're single? How are you single?" I don't know why they thought that I was dating. Yeah, I was able to have a conversation with someone who told me that because of the vibe I give. And again, like I already mentioned earlier, I had a desire to be single. I didn't want to be in a relationship. So maybe that was why I was also putting on a ring. And so many people thought I was already engaged. But then I was not engaged. So now maybe I've chased my husband away already. <laughs> I don't know. Though. Ah, me actually, I don't know. I am not sure. But anyway, being open, meaning like... People, to an extent, need to know that you're available. The things that you post as well will help people. And it's people have conversations and not just be, like, restrictive or being, like, uptight. I don't want to be in a relationship and all that stuff. If you are ready to look for a relationship, then let people know that you are single. Okay? Yes, no, so the thing is, of course, if you are dating, if all your friends are single people, try, you know, diversifying your friendship base as well get in contact with people that are also married because if they you if you continue focusing on being single then that's what you're gonna be right but if you start talking to people those people might actually know other people that are single who are qualified to be in your life yeah. connect you people so that you people can talk and then you see if, if you will go anywhere so expand your relationship base or your friendship base but also even if married people are not like your close close friends but also discuss marriage with them because you actually have so much to learn about marriage and i think you should start learning about it now than when you get married then you start learning even though it's gonna be different but if you will start putting in effort reading books about relationships about marriage about having kids about finances and relationship in marriage then i think that will help you you know as well just to get yourself you know with knowledgeable about what you're planning to get yourself into so that when you meet the person it's not like starting from baby steps again you already have a standard and i hope that whoever is going to meet you is also doing the same things that you are doing you now so I, in fact this should have been the first thing is setting yourself like up for what you want like you need to sit down with yourself like sit down and be honest with yourself what am i looking for like what do i want what kind of man do i want what kind of man even some people go to the extent of like physical attributes but guys you need to speak what you want you need to think about yourself as an individual and think like what kind of man am, am i looking for what kind of standard of living do i want him to have what kind of um well i wouldn't say country but where is the person like what where am i looking to find this person and guys when you've thought about those things you have to also ask yourself am i in the standard of the person that i'm trying to meet because you cannot say you're trying to meet like somebody on a 10 and you're five meaning i'm not talking about just physical looks but let's say that you're looking for somebody that is already like a manager or like a financial financial stable person and all that good stuff or like you're looking for a pastor you need to already be doing things that will help you attract or meet that person. So if you're looking for somebody that is very, let's say, um, you're looking to marry like somebody who is looking to be a president, you need to be preparing to be a first lady, right? You need to be preparing to support this person. You can't just be a wife. You also be, have to be a partner. And you know, even so for men, if you're looking to marry like a successful woman, you need to see where you can match up to, match her, you know, where you can match up to uh, help her, assist her, not just be a husband who provides for 
for the family but a partner who supports the visions and goals of her of his wife and vice versa so i think that should be your write it down and once you find out what that thing is then begin to match yourself up to attract the person that you are looking and of course for. like this is very vital prayer 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 guys even when you are talking to people even when i think i heard somebody saying that even when you are dating somebody and you're sure that this person is good for you you still have to pray like you pray 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 until even your wedding day you still pray <laughs> you you pray through it all like you don't stop praying because now oh you think your family is the right you found a good guy you still continue to pray until and after the marriage so prayer is very important pray to attract the right per person pray to walk in you know in the ordinances and the directions of the holy spirit in that relationship and not just do it don't, don't just do it by your own understanding like ah you know butterflies are flying in and out is going through my belly and then coming out of my ear ah <laughs> no <laughs> don't do that because emotions feelings is not like love feelings are part of a lot like love aura but it's not just feelings it's choices every single day making a choice when this pe person annoys you to the core making a choice to love them when these people are not cute again making a choice to love them when they are not like looking buoyant as you want making a choice to love them so you really need to you know sit down to pray because it's the prayer and direction and the convictions that you have when those people start misbehaving you remember what you have and what you know had cost you or what has influenced you or impacted your decision to be with them so definitely sit down to pray for your relationship if you're seeking to get into one another thing is don't be afraid i know like i already addressed this in the beginning go out there you know speak to people connect with people have conversations but don't be afraid i know you might have you might have had a past relationship which was hurtful and you know now you're thinking you don't know what will happen if you get into a relationship don't be afraid you know there's no need to fear the, the, seriously there's no need to fear if the person is not what you're looking for at least from the beginning with your combination praying and or you already aligned what you want you will be able to eradicate from the beginning that this is not what you're looking for and let them go but don't be afraid because you've had a very ter terrible relationship in the past or you don't know what this person will become when you marry them like 10 years down the line you don't know what they will become so don't be afraid of that the study shows that in the bible there are 365 uh, fear not in the Bible. So that's already an, a notion for you that every single day you're not supposed to be afraid. Whether it's be in a relationship, whether it's to pursue somebody, you should not be afraid to do anything. Another thing I would say, of course, to help you get into the relationship is to be patient. It can take longer time. If it doesn't happen in 2021, it can happen in 2022, January. Guys, be patient. Wait for the person. Don't just rush into any relationship because you feel lonely. If you're feeling lonely, you know, Get yourself together with people who are probably in the same situation, who are looking to be in a relationship or people who are married, you know. But don't feel, don't stay too too focused in that space of feeling lonely, feeling down, like I'm getting old, God, where is the person? Like, get out, do the things that you love, invest in yourself, grow yourself, you know. Be focused on loving yourself, like, that should be your focus now. So that when you meet the person, you're not bringing baggage of loneliness because when you get married doesn't mean that you'll not be lonely again like you know married people have said this. this is why i say talk to married people because they will tell you the tea they will give you the tea because you get married doesn't mean that you're now your husband is going to or your wife is going to satisfy all your loneliness desires or on and or all of those things or all your expectations no so you really need to work on your loneliness work on the things that make you happy work on the things that make you who you are you know Just identify the things that you love about yourself and start investing in yourself like greatly because when the person comes they're gonna take so much of your time so much of your time because you need to get to know them you need to go on dates hang out with them hang out with their family their friends so there's a lot of time you not even have so much time to invest in yourself in the beginning so focus on yourself now so when you meet the person it's going to be like okay you know i already did all this good stuff where are we where are we doing okay the last thing of that course, I would say, guys, love yourself. Like I said, be patient with yourself. Enjoy being single. It's Valentine's Day. Buy yourself flowers. If you really love flowers, practice your own love language on yourself. Practice your own love language on yourself. If you like 
words of affirmation affirm yourself if you love personal time spend time with yourself if you love taking you if you want somebody to take you out start taking yourself out if you want somebody to buy you something start buying those things for yourself don't wait for anybody to love you more than you love yourself love yourself and let god also love you in time you are gonna find a man if you're a man watching this video may the love bless you with a beautiful beautiful godly woman as well so guys thank you all so much that is all i wanted to share and i pray god anyone that is watching this video who is single i pray for your strength over them if they are desiring to be in a relationship i pray god that they would be in a relationship at the time that you've designed that you help them be patient oh god in the name of jesus that they will be strengthened in their single life that they will have passion to do the things that you want them to be doing at this time that they will find themselves pleasing you and desiring to please you even more and that at the right time you will match them with the person that they can be of most use to and that they can be of most impact with in this world in the name of jesus precious father we thank you we thank you for my rich gang fam who are seeking to be in a relationship you are blessing them right now lord in the name of jesus father if there is anyone here who is not desiring to be in a relationship because just not just what they want help them oh god ever to discard every pressure from people telling them oh you need to be get to be married help them oh god to focus on what you've called them to do and help each and every one of us oh god ever to be useful and influential and impactful in our world oh god whether we are with someone or not in the name of Jesus, help us to deal with our inner hearts, with our inner pains. Let us deal with those things so we will not carry baggage to anybody in the future. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise. We honor you. Blessed be your name, Heavenly God. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, guys, that's it for this video. Happy Valentine's Day, my rich gang fam. So you guys have a lovely celebration. And take care. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>